Hi, Megan. Hi, how are you? I'm really good. How are you? Yeah, very well. Thank you. Thank you for joining me today. I know that you're mad busy, so I appreciate you taking some time out to catch up with me. No, you're welcome. Thank you for inviting me. It sounds like a a really good idea that you're doing this. So, um, yeah, I'm very pleased to, to be joining you. Yeah, brilliant. I think what we want to get out of it, Megan, is we just want a little bit of an insight to our brokers and our clients as to how um, Alica and Esther Aldridge work together to Mm -hmm. make the lending process as smooth as possible. Um, So we're going to start, if you could just give me a little bit of an introduction to yourself and Lester Aldridge as a whole, that'd be brilliant. Yeah, sure. So um, I'll start with a little introduction to Lester Aldridge. Um, So we are a full service law firm. We have around 350 people um, and those people are spread across. We've got offices in London, um, offices in Southampton and in Bournemouth. Um, We have around 100 people working in property. So we've got quite a large number of people working purely in the property sector. Um, So I'm based in the Bournemouth office and I work in our lender services team. So this is a team which is a it's a specialist team that works with uh, buy to let and commercial lenders. Um, I've been with the firm for eight years now and I've been part of that specialist team for the entire time that I've been there. So um, it's really helped build my knowledge um, and expertise within lender services. Um, so worked with a range of different lenders. Um, so on a day-to-day basis, I do have my own caseload with Alica, um, but I also spend a lot of time um, training the team and developing processes. Um, so I'm a trainee legal executive at the moment and I hope to be qualified um, within the next couple of years. So, um, yeah, that's just, that's an intro to me. No, I didn't realise um, Mr Aldridge was as big as it is. Yeah, our, our biggest office is Bournemouth, uh, so that's mm. our main office. But, yeah, we, we do have quite a lot of people in our London and Southampton offices as well. So. Yeah. Yeah, all over. Presence all over. I didn't realise that. Um, yeah, thank you. Um, so, from our broker's point of view, if we could just elaborate a little bit more on the uh, role that Lester Aldridge play to support um, Alica. Yeah, sure. So we've been working with Alica right from the start, as you know. Um, so even back when it was all being produced um, before uh, Alica got their license, uh, so we we wanted to design and, and build a process specifically for Alaka Um, and the drive behind this which I think Alaka very much um, had the same approach as what we did is that we wanted a a process that was ultimately going to be as slick as possible for the borrowers um, but also one that was going to be really helpful to the broker um, to get them involved as much as possible and ultimately a process that was going to be efficient to the bank. So where we sit in the lending process, once the loan is approved by the bank and the valuations are instructed, we are also instructed, um, we send out initial initial pack to the borrower solicitors. So this has the mortgage offer um, and a standard set of inquiries that we send out. Um, And from there, the transaction really, we, we... you know, we work with the borrower solicitors and the broker. I think the, the main point there is that we work with them, um, and definitely communication is is one of those key things there. Um, and because ultimately, I think our our, our main um, goal really is that the transaction goes through so that the borrower gets their money, um, but the bank also get the security which is being offered in return. So, in simple terms, our, our main purpose is to make sure that Alica their security is going to be valid. Um, so, and like I said before, I think communication there is is, is vital to the process. So, um, keeping in touch with with you guys and the brokers has, has been our main drive there. Yeah, um, I definitely agree with that. Communication is key. Um, We've touched on it slightly at the beginning when I said how busy that we are. The last month, Alica saw some record numbers on drawdowns, which is absolutely mm. fantastic. Um, the amount of hard work you guys put in, along with our team, um, was brilliant. And um, from your perspective, what's the keys for Lester Aldridge to keep up with our growing demand? So we, like I said before, we wanted to develop a, a process that was um, ultimately a little bit different from the usual um, 
that lender process with a, that a lot of other banks um, take the approach on. Um, we're always looking to review and, and re- refine our processes to make it as smooth as possible. Um, we recently paired each paralegal with individual BRMs, um, and I think you'll agree, Car- Carly, that that's worked really, really well. Yeah, um, it's been a game changer for sure. Yeah, yeah it's been, it's been really good. I think it is it's much easier to understand and, and look at each case individually um, and be able to have a one contact that you can speak to and know exactly what's happening with that case. Um, and it's really helped build the relationship between the bank and LA. And LA. So, uh, yeah, I think that's mainly like our main point um, that we you know drive on. Um, but it also allows the brokers to have a direct contact with us um, so they know that if the case has gone through a certain BRM that they'll have a one point of contact at Leicester Aldridge um, and I think that that's been working really really well um, we've also set up milestone updates so when the case hits a certain point in the transaction the bank and the brokers get an update on that case so we're continuously looking to give updates um, just to make sure that everyone involved is is up to date on the case and I think that's the thing it's such a, um, a, a saving time exercise as well because the amount of times the guys are going back and forth if they've just got one key person that they go towards within LA then it's just making it so much more um, swift in the process yeah. isn't it yeah yeah we're loving how that's working and how do you approach um, assessing our cases in LA Um, so we like to take a commercial view a lot of the time Um, obviously we we do have a standard set of instructions that we have to use um, and we actually got involved with the bank right from the start where we we looked at those points that would need to be agreed and we sat down and and we did draw up a, um, a list of things which we thought you know this has to be given um but then i feel like we have developed that so i know that me and you have sat down before and and looked at certain points that that come up on a on a daily basis and we thought right how can we take a a commercial approach to this certain point um and we've come up with blanket instructions on those so for us it's just it's always looking about how we can improve a case so if there is a point that might be an issue how can we get through it it's it's looking at ways that we can do something rather than we can't do it um so it's not just a tick box exercise um we do look at things on a a case-by-case basis um you know it it leads ultimately leads to decision quicker decision making um and also just talking through the case i think really really helps um i know that we've had conversations before the case is even instructed um if something is a little bit out of the usual it's just really good to pick up the phone and have a conversation about it um and i think definitely from the brokers want you know if they're giving as much information over as possible right from the start it it allows us to have a better understanding of the case and you know we'll be able to assess right from the beginning is there likely going to be issues that might arise how will we tackle them um can we take a different approach on those certain points so i think that definitely we like to take the commercial approach um to cases just because we want to make it as slick as possible for everyone involved in the process that, that's absolutely key for Elika, I think, in making sure that we can look at something and we do, as you say, case by case basis. It's, you know, we want to get the doors over line as quick as possible, as safely as possible also, um, but want to just be a little bit different to our competitors in that way. Mm-hmm. Um, so we, you know, we really welcome your uh, su- support on that. And I know that we're working extremely hard to make sure that we just continue to, to build on that. Well, yeah. thank you. I'm not going to keep you too much longer because I know we've got drawdowns so that need to get out the door. So thank you so much yeah. for your time today. Um, we'll catch up. Anyway, we'll, we'll catch yeah. up Monday. Yes, we will. Okay. See you later, Megan. Thanks. Take Bye. Care. Bye now. Bye.